Hello guys, so here is a problem on triangle. Let me read the problem first. A triangular lamina, 25 mm sides, rests on one of its corners on VP. Okay, such that the median, the median passing through the corner on which it rests is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Draw its projections right so now it's a corner resting so we should get corner towards our left so it means if we are getting corner towards our left means we'll get side to our towards our right now yes and on vp so a 2.5 2.5 25 mm line right so now using compass Consider another 2.5 measurement 25 mm. Okay, and cut the arcs for one more corner. So, one will be like this, one will be like this. Now, join for the corner. <coughs> so, now we have to locate we have to locate its midpoint its midpoint it is 2.5 no so it is 1.25 is the center so measure 1.25 1.25 and mark it here okay so join for the midpoint join for the midpoint right so let us name it this will be my a dash p dash c dash and this would be m dash median since it's a median it's a m dash so now in order to get its top view we have to project it downwards right project it project it next increase the thickness of Okay, so now this is my A, right? And this is my C within the bracket B and even M because I can see B. I can see C, I cannot see B and M because they are hidden because of C. Understood? Alright, so now we have to go for the inclination, whatever is given. Okay, so what is the inclination given 45 degree to VP so 45 degree to VP means we can see that inclination here in HP so measure for 45 45 so here is 45 right so now draw on thin infinite line thin infinite line and you can just cut the arc on that taking this and this measurement you can cut the arc on this you can cut the arc on this so later you can increase its thickness this is my a and this is my c b m right proper so this is 45 degree so now we got the top view to get the same front view in this position we have to project it upward and we have to project it forward so project it project it and from here project project and project okay so now a and a so this will be my a dash B and B, this will be my B dash, C and C, C dash and again this is M dash, correct. So now join for it, A dash to B dash, B dash to M dash and C dash, at last C dash to A dash. So this is a median. So if you can observe here, this median length and this median length, there is a reduction in length. 
correct there is a reduction in length that means it is giving a hint that we have to take or we have to consider beta angle in the next position so he has given 30 degree to HP right so we need to consider 30 degree with respect to HP so we shall take it now 30 degree 30 mark it okay so draw a thin infinite line thin infinite line fine so now we have to name a dash anywhere on this line a dash c <coughs> since it is median inclined so the median is already been inclined here again we are going to incline the median with respect to hp with respect to vp it is already been inclined so we cannot see the true length so we have to go for beta angle or else in simple words if you observe these two diagrams here the length of the median is more and here the length is been decreased so in order to compensate this we are considering beta angle so we have marked a dash now so now from first diagram we have to measure this a dash m dash right and we have to cut the arc from here to here and at this position we have to draw one line which is parallel to x y line and which should be passed through this intersection so i'll draw one such line which is parallel to x y line also passing to that so now what i'll do is i'll come to the second diagram i'll take this new length a dash m dash okay keeping my taking this as center again i'll cut one more arc here right you get one more intersection so now i have to join this a dash to this new one and join it here so it was basically 30 which was given so now i have to measure the new angle so let me measure this let me measure this so I'm getting it uh, approximately 45 46 I'm getting it is 45 to 46 so 45 to 46 45 to 46 the beta angle 40 6 degree approximately it is 45 degree okay so now on this on this 45 degree line see now i got what is this m dash a dash m dash now so now keeping a dash m dash as two points this new new point yeah, two points we have to cut all other lengths okay so now a dash to c dash i'll cut first a dash to c dash a dash to C dash so, and A dash to B dash are equal no? so A dash to B dash as well I'll cut so now from M dash I'll cut A dash, M dash to C dash and M dash to B dash again they are same M dash to C dash and M dash to B dash M dash to B dash so this is not getting intersected so i'll reconstruct this line okay now fine so this is my c dash and this is my b dash so now join for the points a dash b dash and a dash c b dash and it should be it should pass through the point m dash see i can get it clearly b dash m dash and c dash clearly i can get it okay so now to get the next view i'll project it i'll project these lights downwards projecting it downward 
projecting it and last line also from this so now I will name the common points so a dash and a dash so this will be my a p dash sorry this will be my a okay sorry right so I got the point a there so this will be my b this one and c is here c a b and c got it so my m dash is here so this will be my m which is not actually required in the last position so now now join a dash to yeah sorry a to b a to b last b to c and a to c and you can join a to m also if you want in the last position thin line so this is how we can get the last line so this is about the problem with beta angle so we will write beta angle as 45 degree and 30 which is a given angle hope you understood this Thank you.